Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Flonk and I'm a pest survey specialist for the USDA APHIS PPQ field operations. And my name is Emma Bettis. I am a plant health safeguarding specialist for the Citrus Health Response Program. And this video is part of a series of videos introducing you to the IFIS data collector application. I encourage you all to watch the training videos at least once to gain a broader understanding of the application and then use as a reference in the future. In this video, we will cover the overview of IFIS IDC. What is IFIS? So IFIS is Integrated Plant Health Inspection System. IFIS is a web-based application that provides a single standardized and comprehensive data management system capable of supporting activities associated with domestic or emergency pest programs. As you guys can see here, this is the way to access IFIS web. So IFIS has a web application and a application for iOS devices. On your iOS mobile device, the icon right here, this will be the icon for IFIS IDC. The easiest way to access the IFIS main page is open up any web browser that you have. I'm going to use this one. Type in USDA IFIS. The first link that comes up should be this one. Go ahead and select it. So this is the main page to accessing IFIS. I would highly recommend you bookmark this page. That way it's easier to find and you don't have to Google all the time. So there are three links here. There's access IFIS. This one will take you directly to IFIS web. We have IFIS support and we have IFIS resources. So IFIS web, you're gonna access through here, access IFIS. Now, if it's your first time accessing IFIS, it's going to ask you to sign into your authentication like it does here with me. You can do, if you do not have a link, a link card, you can do your e-authentication username and password, or you can do your link card. I'm going to do my link. So this is how IFIS web looks like. We do have all these tabs up here. We won't go into detail with them because there is some more training coming up, but just know that depending on your role is the amount of tabs you will see. If you only have data collector role, you'll see fewer tabs. If you have data manager, data supervisor, you'll go ahead and start seeing a little bit more tabs. So the tabs depend on the roles that you have. In the bottom, it they do give any announcements if there's any changes to IFIS or if they release something new, you can see it down here. On the right hand side, you have your, your name. If you select it, you can view your profile and you can view your offices and the roles that you have for your offices. To the right of that, you have your office. If we select it, you're going to see the offices that are assigned to you. So if you are assigned multiple offices, you will see them there. If you're only assigned one, you will see it there as well. So if we click on IFIS support, there is a telephone number that you can call and you can get some, some support if you have any questions. There is also the help desk email that you can access and email them if you also have any questions or any um, getting er any errors. I recommend taking screenshots of these errors or of these issues, attaching them to the body of your email. I also recommend you putting IFIS on the subject line. That way it's directed to the proper personnel. You also have IFIS resources. There is four links here. Now the first three are a little bit outdated, so I would recommend you go to the mobile data collection tools go to general training, go to IFIS. So here we have a mobile application user guide. This one was just revised in April of 2022. So this is the most current. We also have four different job aids. We have the four steps to data entry, lexicon of words, surveys defined, and user roles.
Okay, let me show you guys where the video gallery for IFRS is. So again, this is the homepage. You go to IFRS resources, mobile data collection tools. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see the video gallery. This is the video gallery. We have all of these videos here. Um, the one that we want is IFRS. And then these are a few of the videos. Anything that is going to be created in the future will also be posted here. These are self-paced. I would recommend you guys um, bookmarking this page so you can use it as a reference. And also I would recommend you guys going through these videos so you can just understand a little bit more of the fundamentals of IFAS. So if we go to the tablet or your phone, the icon is the same as you can see it right there. It's IFAS data collection. Once you're on Wi-Fi, then open your application Here's where you'll enter your e-authentication, username and password. Let me enter mine. Once you enter your e-authentication, your offices will come up. Again, this varies depending on the amount of access you have to different offices. We're going to use the Citrus Health Texas office for an example. Once you select your office, your assignments will come up. So we have three things here, current assignments, future assignments, past assignments. Current assignments are is, is exactly that. It's anything that's current. Future assignments is anything that's coming up within the next week. Past assignments are assignments that have met their end date. Seven days after that end date, they will no longer show up on IDC. It doesn't mean it was deleted or erased. It just means that you will not be able to see it on IDC. So if we go further, again, these are your assignments. You will select the assignment that you are responsible for. Then it'll tell you, do you are you sure you want to download this assignment? You'll say yes. It's going to open up the workbook. So once you're here in the workbook, you can go ahead and open it up. I have no data right now, but um, this is the page that you want to get to. Once you're here, go ahead and log off of your Wi-Fi or put it on airplane mode. That way your iPad doesn't continue to try searching for Wi-Fi and uses battery. So it's best once you get here, go ahead and just turn off your Wi-Fi or put yourself on airplane mode. There will be more videos coming up showing you in great detail how to use IDC.